Hey all, Joe Dragon here. Uh, while exploring on the PTR, I found this new vendor. Now, uh, let's see here. I looted this a while back. It was actually a placeholder item from one of the uh, rares. And it turned into this and it got me interested because it talks about bloody coins. Now, now there are currently two ways to gather bloody coins and this is the other item that you need to do that. Um, which you buy for 2,500 timeless coins. And essentially it flags you so that you can kill uh, members of both factions, but they can also both kill you. Uh, they have to be flagged if you're on a PvP server, you can't just uh, go around killing everyone. Alright, so some of the other items here. Trinket, the same item that you looted, or I looted, you can uh, buy it or loot it. Got a pet here. And of course we've got this mount for 500 bloody coins. Compared to the timeless coins it doesn't seem like a lot, but you'll see why because it is much harder to uh, get bloody coins. Alright. Now as you can see the sensor here is only usable on the island and... Okay, yeah, and uh, this other item here can be used pretty much anywhere. Now this one instantly transforms you into a Yongol and it doesn't seem to flag you just yet. Um, I don't know, I would have to show you the other one which I'll show you here in a second and you'll see what I mean. It also only has a 10 minute duration. So like I said, the other one didn't really flag me right away but as you can see here, uh, when I transform, it automatically flags me. So anybody can attack me right away. It reduces my health by 90%. Um, so I have to heal that back up, so it's not really safe to do it right around other people. This one lasts an hour, and as you can see, I'm having to equip my armor here because there's a current bug that if you have PvP power on your armor, it will kill you. So... <laughs> You'll definitely want to do this in a safe area so you can heal up, uh, preferably with other people. Um, best bet is to join a group of people who want to use the sensor and grind coins. A benefit, since you're attackable by any players who are flagged, um, is that the other creatures on the island are all neutral to you. You can still kill them if you want, uh, but they won't attack you, and the guards won't either. So as you can see, even the Yongol elites, this area which is really dangerous to solo, you could run through uh, without any problem. Alright, so like I said, you can attack anybody who's flagged, horde, or alliance. And you aren't guaranteed a coin with every single kill, at least not currently. Um, that is why it's going to take a while to actually get all the coins you need. Now I joined a group because uh, we figured it was the best way to do it. Um, running around solo is kind of a pain in the ass, so... Let's see. See, still no coin. Others in the group were getting them off of every other kill, but it took me about three or four kills before I actually got a coin. And this guy took forever, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead. There you go. Also, you can attack mobs you wouldn't normally be able to, um, such as the Emperor here. I decided to go and gank him real quick. And you can't attack everything like the vendors you can't attack, but you can attack the rare vendor that spawns around here. Alright. And again, no coin there. So, with the other item though, the one that I said you could use everywhere, you can actually use it in Battlegrounds, which is a good thing. Um, although, even though I got a few kills, I didn't get any coins out of this. It's hard to say at this point whether the drop rate is going to be even lower, since you can use it anywhere and it only has a 5 minute cooldown. We'll have to wait until we know the exact percentages and whatnot. Obviously it's going to be better to use these items on a PvP server since everyone's flagged on the island. Um, so on PvE servers it's going to be much slower of a grind. Unless of course everybody on your server runs around flagged. 
So, anyways, that's a, it for this video. I'll let you go ahead and watch the rest of the battle with this ridiculously stamina stack bear tank. Yeah, it was about a five minute battle, it felt like. <laughs> so, anyways, until next time, see ya.